Elvis Presley was a generous man who loved to help people in need. One of his most touching acts of kindness happened in 1964, when he bought a wheelchair accessible bus for the Memphis Association of the Blind, a group of visually impaired people that met regularly to support each other and enjoy social activities. Elvis had learned about the group from his friend George Klein, who was a radio DJ and a member of the Memphis Mafia. George had visited the group and was impressed by their courage and optimism. He told Elvis that they had to rely on public transportation or volunteers to get to their meetings and events, which was often inconvenient and expensive. Elvis decided to do something about it. He contacted a local bus company and ordered a custom-made bus that could accommodate up to 25 passengers, including 12 wheelchairs. He paid $35,000 in for the bus, which was a lot of money at the time. He also arranged for the bus to be painted with the words Memphis Association of the Blind and the logo of a white cane. Elvis surprised the group with the bus on December 18, 1964. He drove the bus himself to their meeting place and invited them to come outside. When they saw the bus, they were speechless. Elvis told them that he wanted them to have their own transportation and that he hoped they would enjoy it. He then handed over the keys to the president of the group, Mr. James Brown. The group was overwhelmed with gratitude. They thanked Elvis profusely and hugged him. They invited him to join them for their Christmas party, which he gladly accepted. He spent some time with them, chatting, singing, and joking. He also signed autographs and posed for pictures. The bus was a huge blessing for the group. It allowed them to travel more easily and frequently to their meetings and events. It also gave them a sense of pride and independence. They named the bus the Elvis Presley Bus and took good care of it. They even made a plaque with Elvis' name and picture and placed it inside the bus. Elvis kept in touch with the group and often sent them gifts and donations. He also visited them occasionally and rode with them on the bus. He considered them his friends and admired their spirit. He once said, They're some of the happiest people I've ever met. The bus was used by the group until 1976 when it was retired due to mechanical problems. It was then donated to Graceland, where it is still on display today. It is a reminder of Elvis' generosity and compassion for those less fortunate than him.